Hello everyone, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Wednesday 17th and today's topic is Living in the world is fundamental. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer together. Father, Heavenly King of Glory, we bless you. We honor you. Thank you for giving us so much to look forward to. Thank you for keeping us al keep keeping our lives and thank you, Father, for your provisions in our lives. Thank you for peace. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you for your word we're about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. And the topic is living in the world. Living in the world is fundamental. Romans 10 verse 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It is essential to recognize that not everyone in this world will fulfill their God-given purpose. In fact, many are unaware that God has a unique plan for each person born into this world. Every human being faces two destinies, a natural destiny shaped by circumstances such as birth, family, environment, and a divine destiny initiated when Jesus becomes the Lord of one's life. From then on, he takes charge of your life. The word of God has to be the guiding light for your life. Every time you hear the word, faith is imparted to you. Through this faith, you can please the Lord, serve him, and accomplish anything in alignment with his way. You can fulfill the calling of God on your life. The Bible says, of his own will be God, he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. James 1 18. First Peter 1 23 says, Being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. As one born of the word, living in the word is fundamental to fulfilling your purpose. The word fortifies your faith, guides your spirit, and serves as the nourishment for your spirit. It is your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Living in the world is fundamental. What is pastor helping us to understand? Pastor is helping us to understand that the word of God is our manna. It's everything you need to live a fundamental life, to live a good life. Hallelujah. The word of God. And that is why we always encourage us. It is important that you Understand the word of God for yourself. Praise the Lord. You need to know who God is. You have to have a relationship with God. You need to know who the Holy Spirit is to you. And you have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And these are very important. If not, you just be sweet here and there, here and there. Praise the Lord. So take our time. Study the word of God. The word of God is very, 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 very vital in our daily walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. Dear Father, I thank you for the life transforming power of your word. As I receive and embrace your word, faith is ignited and kindled within me. I fortified, energized, and strengthened to fulfill your plans and purpose for my life. I walk in union with your word. Therefore, I am guided in your perfect way to fulfill the purpose you are for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at Psalm 119, verse 105, James 1, verse 22 to 25, and Acts 22. One year Bible reading plan, Luke 16, and 1 Psalm 122. Two year Bible reading plan, Romans 11, verse 25 to 36, and Psalm 119, verse 129 to 144. So, at a leisure time, please. Go through the scriptures so that you be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. 
And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know God is who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this and look for a believing church and worship for growth. What a great time we had this morning. Oh, what a fabulous topic. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And please, if today is your first time, please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please, you can share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus name. Before we go, let's pray. Father, King of glory, we thank you. It's an honor to be loved by you. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Indeed, we are grateful. May your name be praised forevermore. May your name be adored forevermore. It could only be you in our lives. For in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.